America, I'm Justin News. <clears throat> we have quite a day of news to get to today. Our first story comes straight from the world of education. The word is that the new teaching tool, Google Earth, is being used in classrooms all across the country to take kids to places they've never been to without ever having to have them move one muscle. For more on the story, we go to our field reporter, Educator. Ed? Thanks, Justin. This is Educator reporting live from the field. Google Earth is a tool where you can go online and explore anywhere in the world. You can go from London to Beijing to Timbuktu, all without leaving your seat. For more on this story, we interview Matt Bachenfeld, the future educator. Matt, as a future teacher, how would you use Google Earth in your classroom? Well, thanks, Ed. That's a great question. With the capabilities of Google Earth, I can show my students different geographical locations, and I can show them the environment. And on top of that, I can also show, I teach them about different world cultures because I can take them to the actual location where those cultures develop. Thanks, Matt. That's fascinating. But is Google Earth only useful in geography class? No, Ed, not at all. Actually, you can use Google Earth for any type of social studies class. For instance, my, when I want to teach about the Battle of Gettysburg, I can take my students to the field where the battle was actually fought, and I can show them Little Round Top, where the tide of battle changed. And I can make history come to life through Google Earth. Students don't learn best when they, all the learning is trapped in a textbook, and Google Earth is a great way to make it come to life. It's such a useful tool. Thanks, Matt. Sounds like a really great tool. Now back to Justin. Thanks, Ed and Matt. Has anyone ever told you guys that you look strikingly similar? Never mind. Well, anyways, we're going to go to a quick break. But on the other side of this break, scientists believe that they have discovered a tribe of cannibals in northern Wisconsin. Stay with us. Uh -huh. 